Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com, Elena's main game name, and today I'm in Alice Head. I want to do a quick little video talking about player housing, especially for new players. Um, one of the people who watches my video um, goes by Nev. I had asked a question saying, I was hoping, um, uh, where is it on here? I hope you're making a video on new players and housing possibilities. So there are people coming in the product in the next couple months get ready to go to uh, production full release so there's people coming in on the free trials and pretty much trying to figure out what to do on housing housing is very interesting in trying to be avatar and I, I don't know I don't claim to know all how it's going to shape up but um, housing is actually made up of two actually three things I'll keep it down to two two different things one is getting a deed that allows you to claim a lot and there's different size lots so there is a row lot, which is basically a, a very small single unit kind of thing, thinking of kind of like apartment type thing, not much yard, not barely any yard. Um, so you got a row lot, then you got a village size, which is this house actually behind me here is actually a village house. It actually is taking up the almost the entire lot. So that's about how big it is. After that, you start getting into town size, which is bigger, city, keep, castle. But definitely not for the newer ones. So basically, in the newer ones, you know, if you're going to get a, you want to have a house somewhere in Novia, you're going to want that. You're going to need a property deed. The property deed allows you to claim the land. That is what you pay taxes on. So if you have a row lot, it actually, if it's not, there are tax-free deeds, um, but they're more expensive to get, um, a lot more expensive to get actually. Most people are going to, if you're brand new, you're pretty much going to get a uh, a tax, you know, a tax deed, unless you're buying a bundle off the store, like an Elven bundle or something else that comes with one. Anyways, taxes go up depending on the sizes. So a row lot at the very entry level is 500 gold pieces a day, 3,500 a week. Um, a village lot is 1,000 gold pieces a day or 7,000 gold pieces per week, or so yeah, 7,000 gold pieces uh, per week. A it basically keeps doubling. A town lot goes to 2,000 gold a day and uh, 14,000 uh, 14, a week. A city is 4,000 gold pieces or 28,000 gold pieces per week. So they're, they're up there. If I bring, I'm gonna bring up my uh, little menu here that's, uh, these are deeds that I own. These are housed that place. Um, this house behind us is what I call my house, my supermarket. It's my house that's going to be where I have vendors and stuff that sell things. This keep, is actually in Crossroads, a, a player-owned town where I actually live. That's actually my house. And this is another row house I have in there, but someone else lives there. Now this isn't, you can't do this with most people. Him and I know each other on, on Twitch and streaming and stuff. He plays in the game. I met him when he was first starting out. I had a deed that was out there. I, you know, I wanted to put a vendor where this one's at. And I basically made him a deal said, listen, I'll put the deed there. I'll make you a co-owner. Um, you just pay for the taxes. You live there for free. You don't have to buy anything, and it worked out really well. He's got a house. He's you know he just pays his taxes on, and but I still own the property and all that. I say trusting because I'm an owner in the house, so technically anything he has in the house I could actually take. I can do anything with it because I'm an owner. Um, I'm it's not you know he's trusting me and I'm trusting him. I and we played for a bit now and we, it's a good trust relationship. But that's you know that's uh you can't do that with everybody. You just can't go up to someone and say hey, I want to you know live in your house and you know. Think that you can trust them the the world is full of interesting people i guess so if you're going to hold a piece of land you need to get a property deed and then you need to get a house row houses are awesome because they come with a house built on it uh it's a two level house there's nothing big but then if you want to get a taller one like a four-story one or one with a greenhouse on it i don't know if there's any around here let's see oops i'm running here i think these have all been converted to bigger ones not anybody this is a four story this is a row house size but sitting on a bigger lot so you could put a, a smaller house on a bigger lot but a row lot deed would basically take up the size of this house you can tell it's four stories it's got one two three and four the fourth one's actually a greenhouse you can grow stuff on it now there's a plainer one this is the fancy one that you can buy in the add-on store but anyways so getting a you know if you how do you get yourself a, a property deed house deeds are easy you can buy those uh, on the store. You can buy them in game and the merchant. They're easy to get. It's the property deeds that are the hard part. How do you go about getting one? One, there's a lottery. It's not that big a chance on it. It's like they give away 10 of 10 row, 10 village, five town, and one city um, each release. 
and you can go to a housing decoration merchant and buy a ticket and they're five or ten thousand a piece it's a lottery ticket it's basically if they pull your name you win a you win a deed Woo but the chances aren't that big so you, if you got the money to do that you can win it in the lottery you could go to the shroud of the avatar add-on store i can tell you you could go there don't go there it's expensive i mean the the, the price of what they the, the regular mark market price for them is up there so like a roll ID is 85 bucks if you're looking for one go to the shroud of the avatar forums and let's see if i can bring that up here the shroud of the avatar forums let me um get a handle on this there it is okay shroud of the avatar forums login you'll see my login name most people can guess it anyways but it just um password's blanked out okay so let's go to the store i'll show you what i mean here so here's a store here are property deeds now you don't want a water one player owned town two types of deed player owned town and a place anywhere deed player owned towns can only go into towns that are owned by a player yeah they are actually owned by players place anywhere deeds can go in any one of them npc towns the regular towns Brittany, wherever and the pot's so it's 85 bucks for a rollout deed. If you flat out don't want to deal with anything, you just want to get a deed, get it quickly, you could purchase the deed on that. There you paid 85 bucks and you've got your deed. That's one way of doing it. Another way actually off the store is to go to bundles. Let's pretend I like the uh, Viking bundles. So here is a Viking two-story rogue tax-free bundle. Now what does it mean by our three-story? I, I would never go to any of these. Forget the big size. Of, let's just go with when we want a deed. You get a game. You get a game account. You get a two-story Viking house. You get a tax-free player-owned town row deed. So you can place it in a player-owned town, but it's tax-free. You don't pay anything on it. Um, that's actually worth um, some decent money. How much? Probably about 150. On the you get four crowns of the obsidian. You can use it for anywhere else. You get extra bike slots and some extra cloaks and a blood raven pack. These prosperity tools sell for about 45k, uh, about um, 45, 50,000 gold in games each one. These sell for about 2,000. That's a pretty cool thing you can listen to. Um, uh, streaming radio, like um, a Radio Free Britannia. Uh, Viking chest is just card. So you get a lot of other stuff with it. But this is a bundle. So this is a whole, you get an account, you get um, your house, you get a deed, and all that is tax free. But as I said, it starts off at 275. And a lot of people may say, I don't want to spend 275 on that. I understand that. Uh, some people say, no, I want all that. And, you know, they have the money, they want to do it. Well, here's an option. So 85 for just a plain row deed, uh, 275 for the entry bundle on this. Um, here's village ones. They even go up higher. You see, like this is a, a tax-free village bundle. It's like 550 or a town is 1600. It's up there. Or here's a city one, $3,200. Yes, $3,200. Anyways, so what I would do is I would go to this community and go to the forum. And I would go to the player marketplace. Now, this is the Shroud of the Avatar sanctioned place where people can exchange and sell goods. It's legal to sell things to directly people for cash or in-game gold, whatever else. It primarily if you do it through these forums. There's a house and lot listing entry. So... Player on town, that's just the thing. Say, so wanted to sell player uh, pledge houses, basements, and store credit. Wanted to sell cobalt row homes, right left and right, for in game gold. Uh, Viking row houses. Wanted to sell tax free village seed, 525 bucks. Yes, that's what they go for out there in the used markets. So we're not looking for tax free, we're probably looking for um, just a place. Uh, let's see, here's a tax free uh, city deed that's still up there. Wanted to sell pot. Uh, selling a village, that's a place anywhere town. Want to buy, want to sell, pledge town, village site houses. Um, let's see if we can find one. Want to sell, elven house in a hill with in game gold, don't care about that. I'm looking for a road deed. Want to sell, tax town, POT deed. So I don't know what this guy's selling them for. Oh, it's sold already. 
someone actually bought one for about $125. 125 for a town deed, huge. Now you say, well, I don't want to pay like you know 2,000 a, a day on taxes. You with a bigger town deed, you can actually go claim a row lot. You can claim smaller stuff with bigger deeds. But 125 bucks for a tax for a tax town deed versus 85 for a, for a one from the store for a row deed. I'd buy the town deed every you know every day of the week. Um, I still want to find one that's actually this one's buying deeds. Uh, four story Viking row. This one's King Robert selling pot deeds. He has a pot castle, pot city, pot village, pot town, and pot row deeds. So this is a guy now. This is something I would say about 35, 40 bucks. I'd buy a row deed for. I'd offer that up. You should be able to find one of these on the forums for about 35, 40 bucks for a taxed POT row deed. Um, as I said, this town deed, I'd probably say about 125, 150 at the most. Um, so this is where I do. If you're looking to get a your first place, go for a row, lower taxes, everything else. If you're gonna buy the deed, buy it on the forums from someone. You should spend around 35, 40 bucks. Now I said you get a free house with that, which is great, but you can also buy other houses. If I go back to the beginning, I'm gonna go back to page one. Pledge houses and basements and stuff. What does he have? Uh, houses. He has a stone two-story road for 10 store credits, 10 bucks. Three-story row, uh, stone. He's got a four-story for 20 bucks. Um, any other rows in here? No, those are pretty good. So 10, 15, 20 bucks. So you can get a bigger, if you want a bigger size house or, you know, the stone one, they have all different types. You can get basements in here for five credits. It's about five bucks anyways on that. Let me go to see what they what the houses sell for on the um, on the market. So let's just say five ten and that's it. Yeah, five ten and twenty. It said for two, three, and four story. Here, it's a four story row house for fifty bucks. I mean, if you wanted the ornate house, you can only get those here. I have to buy from a player. There's a forty a three story for forty bucks. If you get where I'm going, the forums selling them player to player is about half the price of what they are in the add-on store so if it was me i would be cooking for my row my row lot deed and my um and my house if i want to change the house on the forums for all of about 50 bucks you can get the deed and a house a four-story house on that so that's a pretty good deal um but you know sometimes people want something that's out here um like i'll show you i'll go back in the game and we'll talk a little bit about the um this house this is a new one that's been introduced into the game and it's called a village inn it's a village size house but it's been designed for apartment rentals or room rentals and i'll talk about that in a second so um you can't really get that one on the forms yet that people aren't really selling the brand new so this was 100 bucks i got mine on sale for like 80 bucks or something on that so that was pretty cool but uh, you know there's another purpose i'm spending the money on for that so let's pop back into the game let's get rid of this and let's go back into the game here. We are in release 43 right now. Release 44, which will be at the end of the month, always the last Thursday of the month, is due to release rentals. What they mean by rentals is, as a homeowner, and this is, as you can tell, I have Strongbow Apartments here, and Strongbow Exchange, these are vendors I have on here. This is a big village house that actually has I've put a bunch of crafting tables in, decorated it down here. I'm going to put some stuff on the shelves. I've got, you know, a little cooking area, some other crafting tables in here. I've got my uh, basement, my bank device and all that. But up here, the killer is, here's a floor that I have rooms in every one. This is, house has been designed to be like a, like a, um, apartments. So, it's got a window here. That's it. That's it's going to look at the neighbor's house. So these look at the neighbor's versus the ones in the end. I can actually rent out this room. I will be able to rent out this room to a player, which means I can negotiate a gold price or a cost for it. And it's something that you can pay on a set basis that, you know, you're allocated that room. The door is locked to you. Um, you can put and do whatever you want inside there, decorate or put your stuff in there and be safe. But it's like an apartment rental. You've rented it from me. Now, people are going to go nuts here. They're going to see, you know, I've got, these are all rooms. These are all potential renters I have. So what is that? That's one, two, uh, yeah, 
three, four, five on each floor. Six, yeah, five on each floor. And I've got three floors, so that's 15 rooms up there. In addition to that, I've got four more rooms in the basement, discrete rooms. It has to be a room with a door. It's kind of discrete and locked. So I've got 15, 19 possible rental units. Now the ones in the basement are going to be a little bit less because, well, they're in the basement. But, you know, I think they're actually bigger rooms. They just don't have any of them. And pop down there. Let's go down to the basement. It's not that bad to load in. So I'll be able to set up a contract with people where they pay money and the room is secured to them. They can decorate it, live in it, do whatever else. But they're basically, they're paying me money for it. Now, in the beginning here, when these, all these rentals come out, everybody's going to be looking for the right angle. Like, I've got all the crafting tables there. You don't have to leave the place. You can go use the crafting tables here. I've got a vendor outside, a commission-free vendor, which means you can be able to list items without having to pay any taxes or fees on it. That's a really good deal. So I'm going to offer that as a perk to people who rent in this place. And I'm in Owl's Head. Owl's Head's, you know, one of the most popular towns as far as vendors anyways. So great location, crafting tables, free access to a commission-free vendor. You know, I'm, I'm making it so it's worth people's time to want to live here. But i got to figure out how much I'm going to charge them. I don't know what the end up rate is, but here's my feeling. I, at a minimum, I want to cover how much I pay per day in taxes. I pay a thousand gold per day in taxes. So i got to make sure I'm covering uh, 7,000 gold per week or 28,000 a month. So 15 rooms into that, it's not that much to cover that. And I'll probably put a little bit of an uptick. I'll start amassing gold. And what I'm going to do is with that gold, look to start buying more advanced crafting tables and stuff for the for the place. So um, things from the add-on store, whatever. And keep adding things onto it. So the rent money is going back in to make the property better. I'm not looking to rape anybody on the prices. I just not. I'm a, I do these videos. I'm a very helpful person. I just want to get people you know, a place to live, hang their hat, and have fun in the game. And uh, maybe get some friends to go out and play with and stuff. So, um, you know, Apart Rentals is not out yet. It'll be out in two weeks. So, from the time this video is published. But that's also an extremely affordable way. I mean, if you're paying taxes on a property, you're not only paying tax, you're paying taxes and you had to buy it. Now you don't have to buy it. I mean, there is some advantage. You, you know, there's niceties of owning your own home. Um, you could even rent out rooms in it, too, if you wanted to. But if you don't have the money, you just got in the game, you don't want to commit into any dollars or anything else sign up for rentals um that will be probably the easiest way now if you want to come up I, i've got no one locked into this place i am all willing to to rent anything out um you know just if you want to ping me in game it's elena space strongbow you know or comment on the video whatever else just reach out to me i am glad that you know as, as this comes in put them out there for rental i mean right now i'm paying for it out of my pocket anyways doesn't matter to me so um it's uh you know i'd be happy to do that but these rooms in the basement are a little bit bigger just a little bit Ugh, light bug didn't come up there it is so i you know you got your own little level here there's one right here and there's one here and there's one down here so now this place i can't give them this open area it has to be what's behind a door now this is you know one that's got a stone floor and all that so i mean you want to just kind of tuck away you can do that now i'll tell you what I, and i one of the things i will do is as um you know the rentals come in i will actually put a set of the crafting tables in the basement as well i've got some storage on here but i'll actually put a set of the crafting tables down here so you don't have to come out of the basement to do your crafting if you don't want to for the people to live down here that's kind of like two different areas it's got the basement rentals and you got the upstairs rentals um it won't be that much price difference so they'll probably be like here's the ones you can go to i think the big kicker is going to have access to the vendors so that's generally it that's kind of your options as a new player i think your first and foremost choice the least amount of investment is to look into the rentals as they come out um, I can't predict what exactly what it's going to be. I can tell you that it's going to be, um, it'll be wild and crazy depending where people are renting stuff, you know, towns and whatnot. I think location is important. I think access to amenities, you know, tables and vendors, commission free vendors is important. Um, you know, and just having a good kind of landlord on that. And, um, you know, I have no problem offering to do that. So there's, you know, you're kind of your first choice. Second thing is get yourself into an entry house or row house. I think your best choice of getting that, if you haven't won the lottery, which you go do, is to go to the player forums, go search. You're looking for POT row deeds. Now, POTs, um, 
you, you're gonna find a town, a player owner town, a player owned town that's you know pretty cool to go to. So they do exist out there. So I'm gonna pop out. I shouldn't even done this one. I'm gonna pop out to um, my POT where I live. I don't own this POT, but someone else does. So I'm gonna go. What do I gotta recall? Yeah. I'm gonna pop over there. Player owned towns are actually owned by players. They paid money, a lot of money. And they own the town. They put on the markers. They control everything about it. They decorate. They do that. Some towns are kind of empty. Some towns are kind of there. Some people are real good decoration, but low population. Some have really great popular, you know, really good decorations and populations and whatnot. Now there is a video series in, in a video in my series. I think it's called. Um, if you search in my uh, channel for, uh, uh, which I think it's got to be Crossroads. Let me. Let me see if I can uh, pull that up here. Why not? I'll pull this up so we can see this. Where would it be? Uh, YouTube.com. YouTube.com slash Elena Strombo. Let's see. Videos. Let's see if I can find Crossroads. So Lunar Dragons Guild and well here actually I have one about our guild and our town of Crossroads. It's more about the guild. There's one called POT Review Crossroads. And it talks all about the, the town itself. The guy who owns our town. Let me um pop this out. Blue bye. Alright. This is my town home. This is my big home. This is where I live and all that. And there's bigger properties. But let me get down to the entrance part here. So in, in reviewing different POTs, um, this is a pretty, pretty damn good one. And it's good for a couple of reasons. First thing, there's a lot of people that live here. Second thing is it's decorated very well. And it's got tons of amenities and everything else. Third thing, it has a lot of traffic. Fourth, it's it, it's not a guild town, but it's got one major guild, the guild I'm in, Lunar Dragons in here. So it draws a lot of attraction just from people streaming, people coming by, people joining the guild, whatnot. I'm going to come over here to the town square. Every one of these buildings you see in the background here are all like the vendors, the common stuff. So whether you need a home merchant, a magic merchant, a crafting vendor, weaponsmith, this and that, um, you, you got them all down here. You've got a cute little thing with a Gus Ball field and a little garden area here. You've got a full pavilion of um, expert level crafting tables, banker here, banker by the, uh, by the docks you come in. We've got four of the devotionals that are in here. You've got um, a hedge maze just for the heck of it. Everything for like little piers that go across the water. I bring up Soda Map and M key on your machine. This is kind of the layout of the town. There's a sodacrossroads.com. I'm up here. This is where my house was. He talks with or he pays the money for the folks at sodamap.com. And he updates these. So every one of these, you want to see who lives here. It's actually owned by me. And this one over here is owned by Juvier. And this one as well. This one's owned by, um, this one here is by Hawkwind. And this is owned by Lavon. So he updates those. So the actual map here is accurate. This is our guild hall. It's owned by the Lunar Dragons. Every one of these are tons of vendors. I'm going to go across down there. There are tons of row houses available on here. Um, if you get something, you're a village size person, village lots open available ready to claim and grab um, a couple of row houses over here a lot of populated over here majority of the people live here or in this area here but a lot of people a lot of stuff going on lots of open spaces lots of available plots so if you get one of your deeds this is a great great town to go to um, once again if you see go with that pot review you can go see the uh, cross review about all the details if you look ahead, you see that column building, that's actually the guild hall. The guild came together and donated, uh, it wasn't mandatory, the guys, you know, he, he did a kind of a little, not auction, just did it open up so people could donate money and he was going to match um, half the price. Cause it's like a $300 house um, off the store. You can't craft it either. This is a huge, man. when I say guild hall, that, that's it. So it's in the town square here. 
And all these vendors, these houses around here are owned by different people. They have different vendors. This is actually that row house I own that my friend lives in. So you can go around here. Half the stuff you want to buy is here in the town. So people come here to shop. People come here to join the guild and all that. You know, bolts and boards. And the doors are closed. I wonder why. Let's go open those doors up. You know, if you want to join the guild, I mean, the guild said it's a very active, it's an active guild too. You know, lots of players. Um, you know, people who, if you don't even own a, um, a row deed, we actually offer guild members that if they want a, a secured chest that's, you know, here, that they can um, come down and, you know, have a chest placed here. Like this one's owned by uh, Kine. Uh, and this one over here is Jonathan. This is Jonathan's Lionheart. And this is Joe Nova. So all these crafting tables are here for the guildmates, and they can have a storage chest in addition to this. That's another option. So in the guild, get a storage area and just kind of call this home. So if you come in here, there's a basement here. There's going to be apartment rentals in the basement as well. Um, lots of options in here. So this town is a great place if you do get a POT deed to do this. I'm not saying it's the only POT town. There's tons of them. And there's really good ones out there. I'm just giving you it based upon I know the owner. Sean is a fantastic governor. Um, you can tell you're in a POT when it says governed by. And that's the player. I'd actually govern it. So this is a POT town because of that. Um, but this is, um, I said, it's a great friendly thing. He's fantastic. She watches a lot of the Twitch streams that are out there. A lot of the guys stream and whatnot. Um, just a great place to live. And I said, busy. It's got all the, the right things. And it's right below Central Brit. So it's right in the center of the map. So, huh. so I don't know if that was quick or not. Definitely wasn't quick. But it gets the point across. The basic options of starting in is live out of your bank. Maybe join a guild like ours if you get, you know, they're offering up, you know, secure chests in, in the guild house. Get a rental when they come at the end of the month here. Rent a unit, make a rental unit and rent it, you know, for so much per week or for, per month. Or get a row, I would say get a POT tax row deed and, and get either the default house or a small house. Now this here is actually, you can tell like these row houses are right side by side. Looks like apartments, apartments. This is this row house is a four story greenhouse, just like this one, except this one came from the store, so it's all fancy looking. And this one was actually crafted by a player. If you get a row deed and you want one of these houses, let me know. I can craft them up. I can craft them for about 15,000 gold, and that's pretty much breaking even on, on, on the gold thing. I can make these for you as well. So um, that's an option. So live out of your bank. Get a secured chest in someone's home or guild hall, rent an apartment or a rental unit, or get like a POT uh, deed, like a, a taxed row deed, or a village if you can afford it. And those are pretty much your options on that. A lot of questions that can happen with this. Um, if you have questions, put them on the video, or comments on the video. The thumbs up or thumbs down. Once again, it's Lena Strombo from SodasTutorials.com. At the end here is the video is going to pop up with the previous video in the series. Below that is actually a link to the SodaTutorials.com website. What I'm up to, what I've been up to, what I will be doing. And then beside this is a picture of me in the fairy wings. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you find the content interesting. Go ahead and click on that and click subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.